It's a race against time as Philippine authorities rush to contain what could be the country's biggest oil spill ever. A marine tanker carrying 1.4 million litres of industrial fuel sank earlier today in Manila Bay. The Philippine Coast Guard is deploying floating barriers to contain the slick, which is already stretching over several kilometres. The MT Terra Nova was heading for the central city of Iloilo when it hit heavy rain and capsized off the coastal town of Lime in Bataan province at around midnight. Of the 17 people on board, 16 have been rescued. The body of the missing crew member was found in the afternoon after rescuers spent hours searching rough seas. A probe is underway to determine the cause of the incident and whether the sinking is related to Typhoon Gemi. The storm did not make landfall in the Philippines, but it did intensify monsoon rains which ravaged parts of the country yesterday. And for more, Berna Bernal joins us live from Lime in Bataan province in the Philippines. Berna, how is the Philippine Coast Guard working to prevent this oil spill from becoming an even larger disaster? Oil spill response operations are continuing with the Philippine Coast Guard estimating or targeting to complete the siphoning off of oil in that area offshore within the next seven days. Now, that maritime area referred to as Manila Bay actually covers multiple local jurisdictions, including where we are, Limay Town, which is the nearest landmass to that oil spill area. We're just nearly seven kilometers or 3.4 nautical miles miles from that area and based on uh, the conversations I've had with responders here on the ground at least three companies have already pitched in in terms of donations donating spill booms absorbent pads absorbent booms including one spill boom that's 375 meters in length that they use in their own oil spill contingency plan. Now, to augment the operations, the Philippine Coast Guard has also deployed three 44-meter multi-row response vessels that are in charge of application of oil dispersants in that oil spill area offshore. And based on the aerial survey of the Philippine Coast Guard, that oil spill has covered some two nautical miles as of Thursday morning. But according to the Philippine Coast Guard spokesperson Armando Balilio, that two nautical mile area indicates that the oil that has spilled so far only involves the working fuel of that tanker and not the industrial fuel that it is carrying. Now, this is particularly concerning because that tanker, as you said, is carrying 1.4 million liters of industrial fuel. And to compare, thus far, the Philippines' largest oil spill, which we also covered last year off the eastern coast of Mindoro Island, uh, involved a tanker called Princess Empress that was carrying 800,000 liters of industrial fuel. So if the main container of the tanker Terra Nova involved in this oil spill this time uh, leaks, then that is potentially a larger disaster that will affect a uh, key area of the Philippines' main island of Luzon. Now, the private sector has been pitching it, but aside from that, uh, Mr. Balilio also said that the Philippine Coast Guard aims to tap foreign government partners. So it's been the practice of the Philippine Coast Guard to tap the partners, no? Uh, like Japan, we have uh, understanding with them, like in Indonesia. And the U.S. has been assisting us pagdating sa oil spill. And we can also tap other countries like Singapore for their expertise. Uh, Bruno, we mentioned earlier that a probe is underway to determine if Typhoon Gami could have contributed to the capsizing of this oil tanker. But leaving aside this investigation, the Philippines already reeling from the aftermath of the storm. Yes, uh, the Philippine Coast Guard said that at the time that this tanker sank, 
the typhoon signal was no longer raised in the Philippines. And that's important because if there was a storm signal, that would have been a violation on the part of the private owner of that tanker because they wouldn't have been allowed to venture out at sea. But the investigation right now is focusing on any other neglect or criminal responsibility that would uh, result to liability or fees, penalties, even revocation of license if there is. Now, the capital region, Metro Manila, as well as the province where we are, Bataan, has, have actually declared a state of calamity because of the southwest monsoon rains that was enhanced by Typhoon Gami, local name Typhoon Karina. And earlier Thursday, Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. also went around the northern cities of Metro Manila to monitor the situation there in the aftermath of the typhoon and also distribute aid in those areas. Oh, thanks. Bernard Bernal reporting live just there from Lima in Bataan province in the Philippines.